So I'm going to go over my web design board that I created here on Trello a few years ago, and it's since grown. So I wanted to go over the new additions I've made and uh, show you the beginning board that is created from this template that I use with my clients and um, a board that's right at, right at the end of the process that's been filled up. So let's start here. So this is a brand new board that's created from my template. And so when you open the board, you can start here in the back end phase and this let's get started card will explain everything. So anytime you open up a card here, you can click on the show full description. So this is all the information that you'll need um, to get going on Trello, how to contact me, um, a link to this video, uh, the official guide and uh, just tips on how to use this board. Uh, for example, each column is a list, each topic, which is this right white, white rectangle that's open now, this is a card. And um, any discussion that we have is uh, used on the comments down here on the activity. Um, so once your board, you get your board and you open it up, uh, I will have added you in as a, a team member. You're not listed here. There's no members, but you can easily be added. Um, I'm going to add myself here and you can add uh, search team members here. Um, you can add in your email address, their email address here. Um, but that's where the team members are. These are all the labels that you can attach to a card. So right now this card's in progress. Um, but if I was waiting for your feedback, I can apply this, this label, um, and then any other label or create a new one. Additionally, I can create a checklist, uh, add a due date, add, upload an attachment from your computer, from Trello, from Google Drive, anywhere. You can paste a link, a hyperlink, um, to a website, click attach. And then these are the power ups that I use and I'll get to those later on and show you how those are used. And down below, you don't really need to do any of these. This will all be all set for you. So when you first get your Trello invite with the link to your Trello board, your custom board, just come in here and expand this out and just read through it. Um, so let's close out and I'll show you once you get a feel for kind of how this works. So basically, the cards, the, these are going to replace our emails back and forth. And you you can still get a notification email when a card's updated, but everything will be centrally located here. So we can come and get data and we won't have to, have to you know, search an email or, or have communication on a Google Doc here or something in Dropbox there. Everything is, everything is located in one place. So once you get a feel for the board, come on in here. And this is where I'm going to start collecting all your information that I need to get going on the web design process. So everything will differ. And um, this covers everything that I usually encounter. Um, but it will be customized for every one of my clients. So um, depending on what you need, it could be domain registrar, come in here, check it off and just add a comment in with your domain registrar, username, password, and then you can just check it off. Um, so this is all the information that I'm going to need to get going on your web design. Social media accounts, again, I can set them up for you, but if you have them, you can put their information here. I also have a cheat sheet um, for images, uh, image sizes. I'll open this up a little larger. So you can see uh, for a Twitter header, um, a Facebook header, if I'm not doing this for you and you want to do it yourself, th this is a good guide to use. And again, you can just click here, make a comment um, with any of your information. If you want me to set it up, just let me know what email address and what username you want, and I'll do my best to, to get it for you. And this card, we talk about add-ons, plugins. Um, if you have a mailing list, um, if you're a restaurant, you're hooking up social media, you're hook hooking up Eventbrite for events, you're having a calendar, uh, plugging in any of the Google apps, uh, any of that we'll talk about in here. And, and this card is for any e-commerce 
stores. Um, we can discuss that here. So again, I'm just trying to keep all the information um, organized and easy to access. So if I know, I know where to get some information. And again, if you're not having an e-commerce store, you won't have this card on your on your board. I'll delete it out before I send it off to you. Uh, memberships. And then this is where the, the nitty gritty of the site um, we start getting into. So this is site design inspiration. So this is where I try to get the look and feel of your site, what you're looking for. You can browse around, um, find some sites you like the look and, look and feel of. Um, there's some site in, inspire, um, the web awards, any of those, just add in the URL here of what you like and just tell me a little bit of what you like about it. And, um, I'll try to implement that in your design. And here we can talk about logo, uh, your branding materials. And if you don't have one already, this is how we can create it. So these are a collection of things that um, I've acquired through the years. I've been doing this over 20 years. So these are the ones that I've found that my clients use a lot. Um, so what I did initially, uh, what I've done recently is I've signed up with Envato Elements here. And this site here, uh, these are all their fonts, but I, I pay for a developer license so you can access any of these for free and I can use them on your site. And Envato Elements doesn't just have fonts. Um, these are fonts we can use in logos or through your design. I bet it has all sorts of elements that we can use, including, you know, photo, you know, stock photos, um, stock videos. And this is really nice. So we don't have to pay for these on, you know, iStock photo.com and and all this is already and it's high quality it's already included so this is what you get when um you hire me <laughs> video templates music sound effects and then graphics so you can come in here and find graphics that you like and add them to a collection easily by clicking this plus sign and then these are the two collections i'm currently working on but adding them to the collection and i'll send all that information to you here on the board <laughs> So here's your logo branding materials board. Um, so you can use Envato Elements, find some stuff you like. And you can add the links here, or you can attach them using the button here and just attach the link. Uh, these are logo inspiration, color inspiration, and, uh, and fonts. Uh, next is the photography on your site. And again, a lot of the stock photography you can find online. Um, but if you need in-person photos taken, um, this is where we can talk about all, all that. Competitors. This is important for me to know uh, who you're up against, um, who's doing the same thing you're doing locally and, and, and nationally, depending on your business or organization. Um, and so we can see what the competition is out there. And it's also good for targeting um, keyword targeting in SEO. We can talk about your theme. 90% um, of my clients use the Divi theme. So I have a license they don't have to pay for. I have a developer license and I have over $200 in plugins that I can use. So all that stuff is included and I can customize it completely from the ground up. So typically if you want a custom site, we'll do it on Divi. But if you don't, um, want a custom site and there's a site out there that you like and we want to use that theme, um, by all means, I'll, I'm happy to work with that. And then here's some uh, resources for that. And here's the SEO. So this information I'm going to need from each client um, to be sure that we're targeting the right, the right text and SEO stuff. And now, once I've gathered all that to get into the, the, the design of it, we need to start populating that design. So this is the site navigation. This is the main navigation that you might want. Um, this is just an example to get going. But you can add in all the pages that you're looking for in here just so that I know um, how your menu should look. And then we got your content for your homepage. So this is where you can add in your copy um, and layout. If you want to work with me on creating a layout, we can use this wireframe pro plugin here. You can click on this button and then you can click on uh, use a web layout and then add a project name. 
And then in here you can drag elements of things that you'd want on your website. A button, anything like that. So I can use this, but if you're feeling ambitious and you'd like to use it, by all means use the, the mock flow wireframe flow um, power up right over here. And then, so we'll talk about, you can just tell me briefly what sections you might want. You want a call to action, you want a, a slider, um, you want your services listed as blurbs, you want a social media feed, all the stuff you might want on this particular page. And then any images, again, this is, you can find on Envato Elements, and then these are other free stock photography um, that have um, high quality stock photos. And if you'd like to purchase photos you can always use use these down below um, but for all the content on the home landing page start adding in comments down below of everything that you want and so you can see over here i'll show you how a page would look all the comments so here's some comments that maureen added in let's see another one that has more oh, that's the same one terms and conditions. So here she added in her terms that she wanted. And so it was easy for me to take that copy and paste it in. I knew exactly what she wanted. Once it was done, we made that we made it completed. So that's what um, a typical page card will look like. So each page on your website will have their own card. So this is the home landing page. And then after the home landing page, after that first one, I typically do a round of feedback on how that look and feel is going just to make sure that the design is heading in the right direction. We're all on the same page. And um, so this card here um, will acquire that feedback. And to get that feedback, I use Envision. And Envision is easy to create comments, so you can just click and comment. And so you'll come in here, and once this is ready to go, and um, the home page has been revealed, you'll see an Envision link, and you can just click on comment. And so that will open it up in Envision. If you don't have an account, um, it'll ask you to create one or ask you for an email address so that it'll know, I'll know who's making that comment. And then you just come in here, and then you click anywhere. So say you want these buttons on the right-hand side. You just click and say button, buttons on the right. And I'll be attached to this. This is, again, just an example. And then just click Send. It'll send it off. And so all that stuff um, you'll see through Envision. And so I'll know once this is we're in feedback mode, I'll come over here and see all your comments exactly on what you want. So, you know, if you don't like these colors, change to blue. Just add a comment. And that's it. And I'll see them. Um, and then we can come over here and... Um, close it out if it's done or add any f other comments. But at this point, the Envision usually takes care of this page itself, uh, the feedback page. So we won't really be using this to comment too much. Maybe just say, I, you know, I'm checking it out. But all the other comments on feedback should be in Envision. And then um, you can see them exactly on the page. And so this is as if you were looking on the page live. It's just a screenshot of it. So at this point, you'll see the page live. You'll have a link, and then you can come over here and make comments. All right, and I'll close this out. And so each page will have that same thing. So here's the content for page A, B, and then this is the first round. So I usually break it up to a couple pages each round. And so this phase one, um, has a whole first round of feed feedback. So you'll have a couple different Envision pages um, linked here, and then you can go through them all and make comments over there on Envision, and then come back over here, and then we'll work on phase two when that's all done. And again, like, this is the same thing, phase, page three, or page C, page D, page E. Um, and again, these will be changed to whatever your page names are. Uh, we'll talk about the blog set that up and then any products that you might have um, set up in the e-commerce store we'll set that up and again if that doesn't apply to your type of site then you won't even see this and lastly um, privacy policy guidelines terms you can add all that in here and then we'll do another round of feedback for phase two 
And the same thing, I'll add all those pages here. You'll get a link. And the same thing, make comments on Envision. So once all those phases are done, all the main pages are done, um, we'll go come over here and take a good look at the mobile and tablet uh, versions of the site, just to make sure uh, on iOS and Android, do some testing, make sure that looks how you'd like it to look. And then we'll do one final round um, of the site. This is your opportunity to let me know before we go live. And just before we go live, I have to sign, sign up for maintenance um, if you're going to have hosting with me. And um, so we can make sure I can get your backups going right from day one. And we'll talk all about that when the time comes. And then launch day. And sometimes some plugins need to be hooked up post-launch if I'm migrating to your server from the testing server. Um, so some things, some things will may need to be tweaked post-launch. We'll talk about that here. And then post-launch, we got project documentation, helpful links, and where to get help, just how to contact me, and all that information. So um, here's what the board will look like when it's brand new. Here's the board. Um, this was sent initially, uh, how it looks to John Rogers. So I took his board and filled in all these things and deleted cards that were not necessary and added in some photography and, and photos, um, and content initially. And then this is how I sent it to him. So he can come in here and take a look at everything, um, and make comments. But as you can see, this is customized from my board to, um, his particular type of site and see none of the e-commerce stuff is here and he has three different phases for all his pages so um, that's how it looks pretty much when when you get it from me um, and you'll see credentials in, in here there's only four from him um, and then this is what a board looks like mm -hmm. that's been that's close to launch day and you can see the red is completed. So all these different things have have been completed and it's kind of nice to look through um, the whole process and you can see everything from start to finish. Um, and again, if I need any information on their accounts, I can come, I can come back here and look. So I'll close out of that. And again, this is how Envision looks, my graphics and the web design board. So. Um, so yeah, this is, this is my Trello, Trello board, and please let me know if you have any questions.